cybercrime and protecting the vulnerable are just two areas where policing has changed significantly and many officers are looking to develop their professional capabilities. As Lewis Vaughan-Jones reports, the University of Central Lancashire is working closely with the local constabulary in a partnership where reality and science are delivering greater satisfaction and effectiveness. This is the bedroom of a terraced house in Preston. A suspected arson attack. It's dark and, of course, potentially dangerous. Yeah. Oh, there's a cable on top, hanging down in the middle. Oh, yeah. So you can start on MCO2. Downstairs, there's blood on the living room floor and a suspected shooting. OK, so we've got a deceased male. He's got an apparent gunshot wound to his chest. We've got a trail of apparent blood down towards the door. It's a scene similar to what many officers are confronted with, but thankfully, this one isn't real. These are students practising their skills at the School of Forensic and Applied Sciences at the University of Central Lancashire. So this is far from a normal classroom. Students here get this practical experience, some of the most realistic training available. Of course, it benefits them, but it benefits police forces too. These crime scene houses are part of the university here in Preston. Just one example of the practical experience on offer, not just to undergraduates, but to people in all stages of their career. We offer part-time distance learning or full-time courses. We can as well, particularly for practitioners, police officers, crime scene investigators, we can offer um, continued professional development where certain credits might be awarded for a three-day course. Those credits can then accumulate towards a degree. I'm just saying how we're getting with the thematic work at the moment. And just down the road at Lancashire Constabulary Headquarters, you can see the effects of police officers embracing academia. We'll have a meeting about that and we'll catch up on it, OK? Yeah. DCI Jonathan Holmes is currently studying for a Masters in Criminal Investigation to support his police work. I've had many occasions where I have applied that directly to uh, my, my role uh, and will quite literally be referencing stuff that I've done in a lecture the day before. Um, puts me in a better position around my decision making to be able to attribute a particular decision to something that uh, you know, a judge might refer to. With the increasing professionalisation of the police force, academia can reinforce the scientific, evidence-based approach that's central to so much policing. Do you want to sign it? Back at the lab at the University of Central Lancashire, this is forensic practice, looking at things like DNA blood testing, chemical testing and hair and fibre analysis. As here, where you've seen science, physical science, really take policing forward in terms of forensic science, so the humanities are taking uh, more wider mm. policing services, so if it's police management or it's knowing how uh, offenders work in a particular circumstance, uh, that's, that's the way it's going. I'm really quite impressed with Senate 3. This is the Hydra Minerva suite. Students are drip-fed information recreating a major incident. It's a way to analyse and work on crucial decision-making. Courses here range from a level 3 basic qualification right up to a level 8 doctorate level and everything in between. OK, I'm just going to caution you before I say anything else, OK? So you do not have to say anything. Courses on anything from cybercrime, fraud and forensics to basic policing on the streets can complement police training and improve standards. The principal lecturer for policing here spent more than 30 years as an officer but even he admits he didn't fully realise the importance of academia when he was in the police. For me, it is around that journey of professionalisation that the police service is going through. I always hesitate to say professionalising the police because I think the police is, is a profession. I think it's about enhancing that professionalisation. It's about giving the tools for police officers to do the job. It's about raising those standards with ultimately an aim of public service at the end of that. Of course, there will always be an important place for professional judgement and experience in policing but academia is trying to complement, reinforce and improve best practice in police forces, delivering a better service to the public. <laughs>